Welcome to the smoking spice phase where flavour is everything. Together we're going to work on creative yet simple ways to achieve new flavours on your barbecue. Straight up, barbecuing your food will always have better flavour than cooking on any indoor appliance. And this is because barbecues can achieve higher temperatures, which means your food is browning faster and new flavours develop. Plus, you have the magic of cooking with fire and smoke. To celebrate the launch of Weber Australia and New Zealand rubs and seasonings, today we are using our Weber steak seasoning on these beautiful porterhouse steaks. And I'm going to show you a super simple mustard whip you can dip your steak into. Our kill is preheating for high heat because we are searing our steaks over direct high heat today. They're about two and a half centimetres Meters thick. If you're going any thicker than four centimeters, I would try it the reverse sear method. Jump onto our website for all the information. Guess what? It's time to get spicy. Our steaks are here ready to be oiled and seasoned. When I eat steaks, I love to eat them with olive oil, salt and pepper because I think it's so important to let the quality of the meat and the magical flavors of the barbecuing shine. So when I created the steak seasoning, I knew that those two factors had to be the most important part of the eating experience, but with a little pizzazz. In this seasoning, the ratios of salt and pepper was super important and it took a lot of fine tuning. But also in here, we have actually smoked onion, garlic and chili on a smoke fire barbecue over hickory wood for an extra dimension of flavor. The chili heat, it's not spicy, it just brings a really nice warmth, leaving you wanting more, and a touch of herbs to keep life interesting. Before we go on with our seasoning, we just need to oil our steaks and this will help for the seasoning to stick. So, a small amount of oil, but rub that all over. Get both sides, flip that and then this is ready for our seasoning. I know it can be really tempting to go all ham and just coat these steaks with the seasoning, but try and resist the urge because all of these products are filled with natural, good quality ingredients. There's no fillers, but it can mean that you can easily overdose your meats. So on all of the bottles, I've included a recommended guide. At least try this for your first time, just so you get used to the amount. Use a teaspoon measure. All these steaks need for a 200 gram steak is three quarters of a teaspoon. Use this steak seasoning well beyond the steak. Think about lamb or, oh my gosh, on a mushroom, on a portobello mushroom, three to four minutes aside over high heat and then put a spoonful of butter in the cup of the mushroom as it finishes cooking. It is going to be the most savory, sumptuous, delicious tasting mushroom you've ever tried. These steaks are ready for the barbecue. They're already looking delicious with a beautiful red seeping throughout the steak. We need to get these on. One quick little tip on getting those perfect sear marks. If you press down on the steak gently with your tongs, it'll ensure the full contact is made with that steak and cooking grill. Have a look at that. So quick, two minutes aside, they have this beautiful color. I am so happy with these. But now it's time to get onto our mustard whip. Three simple ingredients. First one is creme fraiche. This is a great alternative to sour cream. It's rich and velvety, but doesn't have that tang like sour cream. Just scrape all of that in there. And then next ingredient is Dijon mustard. Just one tablespoon, scoop that in. And then I'm also going in with whole grain mustard, and this is because I like the texture and the appearance. Plop that in, and we can just get whipping. Dijon mustard comes from the fancy part of France, Burgundy, and it is that little bit fancier because it's made with verjuice instead of vinegar, so it's extra delicious. So just after a minute or so of whipping, it's come into a thick, delicious sauce, so when we dip our steak into it, it'll still cling on so we can pour that into our serving dish. Our steak has rested for a couple of minutes while we made that delicious mustard whip. So all that's left to do is cut into it, make some beautiful slices. It's dip and dunk time. We'll go straight in with our juicy tender bit of steak right into the mustard. That is so good. There's a beautiful balance of salt, Got a little bit of spice from the chili and then that delicious mustard whip creaminess. This is delicious and it's lunchtime in the spice space, so I'm off. That is some serious steak seasoning available now. See, it's so good. It still tastes like beefy steak, delicious barbecue, but perfectly seasoned and of course delicious.